Hey everyone, Chris here from Brick Players Union, and in this video I'm going to share with you my conversion of the LEGO City Pizza Van set 60150 from 2017. So let's check it out. Now before we get started, I do have one disclaimer. I actually have the original pizza van set, but after I bought it, I realized that I pretty much planned on changing it completely anyway, so I never bothered to open it up. I just built one for comparison out of my parts collection with a few substitutions for parts that I didn't have. Now with that being said, normally I begin these mock conversion videos by saying that when I build a conversion, I like to keep the look of the mock as close to the look of the original as possible. And when it comes to this conversion, in some ways that's true, but in other ways that's not true at all, obviously. Normally, I'll keep the color scheme the same and just change elements of the build, but in this case, the dark red and yellow color scheme of the original just doesn't say pizza van to me. Dark red and yellow reminds me more of a burger chain like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, etc. Now, this isn't the first time that LEGO has used what I would call an unusual color scheme to represent pizza. Back in 2013, LEGO released a set called The Town Square, which was set 60026. Now, this set included a corner bike slash motorcycle shop and also a city pizza shop with a lime green and white color scheme, which, again, doesn't exactly say pizza to me either. I always associate pizza with Italy because, I don't know about you, but where I'm from, pizza shops are always owned and operated by Italians, and the shops all have a very Italian feel right down to using the color scheme of the Italian flag, which is green, white, and red. So to me, it seemed natural to build my mock pizza van using the green, white, and red color scheme as well. Even the sticker sheet for the original pizza van has the green, white, and red color scheme, which makes it even more confusing to me why they would build the van using dark red and yellow. Now, as for the build itself, I really like the look of the original pizza van, so I did keep a lot of the same details of the original build, but of course, this is a conversion, so there were plenty of details that I've also changed. For starters, the original is from the city theme and uses the full fenders and city wheels. So, like I do with a lot of my other city truck upgrades, I changed the full fenders to half fenders, and that allowed me to upgrade the wheels to the larger Speed Champions wheels as well. I also raised the height of the roof by one plate to even out the stripe on the flip up side door with the roof line, which gave me enough room to add a sun visor to the front windshield as well. And I also changed the rooftop marquee to an Italian flag and added a pizza slice for good measure. Around back, I moved the brake lights up higher and also added a set of transparent orange turn signals. And I also added a rear bumper and a license plate as well. Now, the driver's compartment in the original had a center-mounted steering wheel, so for the mock, I moved the steering wheel off-center over to the driver's side to add a little bit of realism, and I also added a ultra-modern cassette deck as well. But the most significant changes I made were to the interior prep area. The original had an oven with a transparent blue door, which to me looked more like a microwave oven than a pizza oven, so I replaced that door with two drawers to give it the look of the two narrow pizza oven doors as you would see in real life. I also replaced the ketchup and mustard dispensers with a soda fountain offering Coke or Pepsi, and I added a stack of cups and a napkin dispenser as well. Alright, there you have it, my conversion of the LEGO City Pizza Van set 60150 from 2017. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you have a minute before you go, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'd also like to give a shout out to Stop Motion Stories, El Mojito, Nikar NR, and Raphael the Lego Brick Creator Fan 2003. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.